I'm really impressed with how sharp they are actually wide open at a T2. The, the zoom lenses are T2 and they're pretty small. They're like the 50 to 100, it's just like the size, 1835 is the size and they're light. And I think professionally in um, cinema, I don't think there's any zoom lenses that are that um, lightweight and that small at a T2. And it's nice because most prime lenses are T2. There's not many zooms that are T2. So it's kind of like a prime for how fast it is. And so having the bokeh is um, very nice, very nice fall off for being wide open at a two and still maintaining sharpness wide open, which is great, really nice. These lenses are very unique uh, because they actually uh, are very, very sharp. They're, they can resolve 4K and higher, which is kind of future proof because that seems to be where we're going is higher and higher resolution. Um, and they are very fast as well. They're a zoom that's a T2. So having the versatility of a zoom is great because you only need a lens or maybe a second lens and you have a whole range of lenses. So at you know, smaller productions, um, where you don't have as much money or time, that's a huge saver um, in many ways. You know, it saves time, saves money, and they perform just as well as many primes um, that are out there. I shot entire of this shot from around 2.0 and 4.0, and overall bokeh looks really great. And also, uh, Skin tone looks really smooth, and uh, I would say this is a really uh, cinema lens. So uh, we tried a variety of shots using a dolly and using a slider, and also we did an overhead shot and also handheld. So having a small light zoom lens like this gave me a freedom to move around. Uh, such as uh, this trailer house and I could move around and get a really nice shot. Uh, it was really great experience to me. And usually uh, having a sh like a cinema lenses, we can really move around and uh, doing a, a handheld shot is almost impossible. But this Sigma lens yeah, can make it possible. Uh, that was great. Uh, those renders boot quality is really superb and robust. It's a bit like tank and it's not cheap. And uh, you, can, you can take it to any location and any environment. So we shot in desert and uh, it was just working smooth and well. Um, that was great. <laughs>